Thank you so much for your time. Yeah, of course, man. Looking forward to a wonderful little chat about work. <laughs> nice. All right, man. I, I'll try not to take up too much of your time. We only have a couple of questions. Cool. Uh, all right. The first question: um, What is what? What is your favorite Warp Tour memory? Wow. <clears throat> favorite Warp Tour memory. There's quite a few, man. Um. If I had to narrow it down to a favorite Warp Tour memory, it would probably be over the span of about two weeks on, I think, 99, 99 Warp Tour. Um, I was out with, uh, fuck, who was I out with? I don't remember who I was out with, but I watched Papa Roach go from second stage I was out with Papa Roach, actually. That's what I was out with. I was out with Papa Roach and Snapcase, and then I brought my band Hometown Hero back out onto it. But over two weeks, I watched Papa Roach go from second stage to main stage headline while their song was out. Yeah. And that's it when... Was really a magical... What's that? That's when Last Resort just hit. Yeah, it was when Last Resort just hit, and they, we were on the on the second stage, and and literally over the course of two weeks, everything just ha- happened, and it was magical, and and like radio picked up, and it went from, you know, second stage to a decent amount of people there to main stage to every single fucking person in attendance knowing that song, and. It was kind of like we're all kind of witnessing it and, and living it at the same time because, you know, we're all wanting to be a part and doing that same thing. So if I had one Warped Tour experience, I'd say it was it was that. That's killer. <clears throat> I remember, too, like uh, I was graduating uh, high school at that time. And that, that song, like they played it over and over again at Disneyland at our... Uh, uh, grad night. <laughs> That's awesome. Yeah, it was, it was either 99 or 2000. I think it was 99, though. It was, uh, for last resort, it was 2000. Was it 2000? Shit. Maybe it was 2000. Oh, maybe it was 99. I don't know. I'm, I'm, I'm all off, man. All right. Um, uh, what has Warp Tour meant to you? What has Warp Tour meant to me? Um, uh, Warp Tour to me has meant opportunity and chance. And I'm extremely grateful for someone like Kevin for having the like the foresight to, to know what he was putting together and do it, but never losing sight of what it was based off of and always giving people like myself the opportunity to be a part of it. Um, I was all, like, uh, that was actually the tour. I was out with Snapcase and Papa Roach and I was working with them, and then I had to come back to Los Angeles to play, like, um, my band's first show or something. I don't remember what it was. I was coming back home to play a show, and leaving the tour, I I went and talked to Kevin. I was like, hey, man, I had a really great time on this. Thank you so much. This has been awesome. Like, I would love the opportunity to bring my band back out on, on your tour. And he just looked at me, he's like, dude, for sure, pick a stage, where do you want to play? And I was like, are you fucking kidding me? He's like, yeah, when can you be back out? And I was like, well, um, by Pittsburgh. He's like, sure, I'll put you on this stage. And he, he, he always kind of did that, and it was, it was, you know, it was always like a real thing. And, I, and I'm super grateful for Warped for giving us that type of opportunity to just get out in front of their audience which their audience is just all of us, all of uh, all, all the all the punk rocks, all the all the kids that just kind of you know wanted the experience of listening and watching music at all times. 
that's why you get a hundred and fucking fifty bands in one day on warp now. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, are you? Do you stay out here in in uh, the eight hundred five? Uh, I bounce between Newbury Park and Highland Park and Costa Rica. Oh, nice! All right. <laughs> um, okay. Uh, do you, and you know, you know, piggybacking off of what you said, do you have a, a specific message that you would like to share share to Kevin? Um, to share with Kevin. Uh, I mean, other, outside of that, just people in Humboldt to have been a part of uh, many years of Warp Tour from 96, 99, 0, 0, 1, 0, 2, 0, 3, 0, 5, 0, 6. Uh, all playing and then attendance in the other years um, and then uh, production company that I produce for getting uh, for Anthem Films getting the opportunity to shoot a five part series documentary for the final year just ridiculously grateful to have been a part of uh, a part of the whole thing and, you know Super awesome. Every, there's been so many people that have contributed, but not many people that have been at the helm. And, like, it's fucking insane that it's Kevin, but super awesome at the same time. Love that guy. Super rad. Fucking killer. Um, and then my last question is Do you have a fun story or a Fletcher story that you would like to sh- share? Shit. Do I have a <laughs> Fletcher story? Um, shit. Fuck, okay. So, this is, this is, uh, fuck, dude. So many Fletcher stories, too. Produced a couple videos for Pennywise. Um, there was one time when post, post video shoot, he took my crew uh, it was like this big hyped up situation, took my crew, he's like, I don't even remember what the scenario was, but he explained it like, you know, if, if, if they wanted to be down with him, they had to go do this fucking task with him or whatever it was. Ends up taking my crew, they break into a building, it's in the middle of the night, it's super dark out, and, uh... They're literally scaling a, a fucking, scaling up into like who knows where. They're way up above the fucking ground, and Fletcher's leading this <laughs> punk, punk rock crusade into the darkness to prove their fucking manlyhood post video production. And he says they just kind of have to follow him and trust him. And as he says that, there's, yeah, he's explaining there's no other way back. There's no way back. There's no way to turn around. You have to do this. You have to go with me. And he fucking... <laughs> oh, shit. I don't even know how to introduce the story properly. He fucking... He takes them up into the middle of nowhere in this building. And they're hanging. They're scaling this building. And he's like falling and losing his grip and he's like there's no other way down you have to go and he fucking falls off <laughs> into the darkness falls off into the fucking darkness and everybody's like screaming Fletcher no <laughs> what the fuck and like they he fucking he hits the bottom he's laughing uncontrollably they can't see him or whatever and he's like you have to go you have to go trust me they finally jump in and he has let them into the like the fucking shelter upper roofing of a high school above the swimming pool and made them all drop in into the darkness below. <laughs> That's that was typical Fletcher where you never knew what the fuck you'd be dealing with him. <laughs> oh my god. We've had so many great Fletcher stories, it's ridiculous. <laughs> Fletcher's crazy, dude. <laughs> <laughs> Everybody's crazy. Yeah, 
everybody has a Fletcher story, you know what I mean? Everybody, we've interviewed close to 30 bands and, and people, and almost every single one of them, maybe three of them didn't have a Fletcher story. I mean, there's also the Fletcher stories when, you know, he fucking pulls an airsoft gun on you and starts blasting for no fucking reason. You're like, what the fuck? Pop, pop, pop. Here, bro, take this. It's your turn. Pop, 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 pop. <laughs> fuck, dude. <laughs> hey, Ray, man, we really appreciate it. I uh, We appreciate your time and... Um, if you're in Newberry Park around uh, September, we do the Ventura County Music Awards. If you want to, oh, right on, very park. cool. Yeah, dude, it's whatever you uh, you know. We'll, we'll we'll treat you right, man. We'll take care of you. What what, what date is the event? It's Sunday, September 9th. September nine at eleven. Yeah, that'll be awesome. I I just get back from yes, yes. I should be here that day. That'd be fucking awesome. Yeah, all right, man. Uh, you know, maybe we have some other things. If you guys, if you're here, then, you know, maybe. Um, we, yeah, we'll, we'll, I'll have Daniel reach out to you. And I think that would be, uh, it'll be awesome. We'll definitely take care of you. It's a really good time. We have it at the Levity Live at the collection. Oh, very cool. Yeah, so it's it's re- it's a fucking awesome event. Last year we had Dave Mason there and Lita Ford and. It was just fucking ridiculous. Oh, very cool. Yeah, that'd be awesome, man. All Thank right. you for the time. I appreciate it. Anytime talking about Warp Tour, it'd be cool. There's some uh, some cool documentary stuff coming up, and of course, it's the last year, so it'll be exciting. Yeah, it should. All right, here's Danielle. Thank you so much, Ray. All right, brother. Have a. All right, brother. Have a.